Hello lovely and welcome back to the Makeup Hunter. So today's video is a little bit different. We are in a completely different location to usual. We are in my bedroom at my mine and my parents static caravan in Wales. Um, I had wanted to do um, a video here for a while um, but I've struggled to sort of figure out a setup and lighting and stuff like that but I've managed to get one um, I'm in a position where hopefully I'm not going to melt away. Um, I've got natural light and a ring light. So hopefully the lighting and the angle and everything is all a-okay. So today I am getting ready to go home. Unfortunately, we are all packed up and we are going out for lunch and then we are travelling back to sunny Wolverhampton. Um, I'm super low and depressed today because we're going home. I always am when it's time to go home. Um, but I'm going to do a full face of makeup. I'm going to do something really that makes me feel really good and really confident. And I'm also going to be trying out a load of new products. Um, I recently uploaded quite a big Superdrug haul onto my TikTok. It was in two parts and I edited the one down into a short. I've got to do the second part of it. But if you want to go and um, check out the hauls on my TikTok, I will leave the link for that. Um, below in the description box. So um, what I've been doing is um, ferrying makeup backwards and forwards from home every time I come here um, and the idea was always that we would leave enough stuff here that we wouldn't need to keep packing a bag every time we come um, and each time I bring my makeup here I'm terrified of it like getting broken on the journey. I mean this time round I've bought a lot of my like favorites new products i've bought lethal cosmetics palettes with me and i'm just so paranoid about them getting damaged so me and my mum went out shopping the other day and she treated me to a load of drugstore makeup mostly revolution and the brand mua makeup academy and i've got now sort of a, a full face worth of products that i am going to add to over time um, but I'm going to stick to completely drugstore to keep here at the van. Um, I have finally got an appreciation for drugstore and affordable makeup products um, after being a notorious makeup snob for such a long time. Um, the products that I've got here are sound. I've, I've tried a few of them out already um, but some of these are going to be a complete first impression. So, without further waffling, let's get some makeup on my face and see if we can uh, transform the dullness into something less dull. So, if you would like to see me get ready to travel home in my caravan in Wales, then please keep watching. If you would like to see more from me, then please do subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everybody who sticks around and wants to hang out with me. Leave me a like if you like this kind of com content and leave me a comment. I too try to reply to every comment that I get. So I've waffled enough, let's get started. Okay, so my skin is all prepped. Um, I've got all my skincare on, moisturiser, etc. Um, but I am going to prime my skin. Um, just to show you, I have um, brushes that I keep here. Um, most of these are like spare ones from home, like a couple of older MAC brushes. Um, I've got some Colourpop, um, a set from BH Cosmetics and I've also filled in the gaps from Primark. Whilst I was here this time, um, I did pick up from Primark a pack of three sponges. Um, these are like the like soft touch ones, they're called Flocked Blender Sponges and it was £3.50 for a pack of three. This is the one that I am currently using and I really like these, these are, you know, these are great. Um, my favourite makeup sponges is the Coco Cosmetics by Chloe Marshmallow Sponge and I did bring that with me but I don't want to, again, keep carting things backwards and forwards. So... For my first step, I am going to prime with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty 
blemish fighting primer now i absolutely love the paulist putty primers i have the original and i have the vitamin c by in one um i don't particularly have blemish prone skin although i do get some under my chin um from like ingrowing hairs and things like that due to polycystic ovaries um but i've heard really good things about this particular one so i wanted to give it a go as you can see i have dug some out and have tried it very briefly um it just seems very very on par with the original um elf putty primer um, what i like to do with these is just target this in the areas where my pores are slightly larger which is around my nose forehead chin and i also like to take some down underneath my chin and that just it blends in really nicely and um, it I don't think it mattifies or anything like that it just feels very light on the skin and I do find that makeup sits beautifully on top of the elf Paulist putty primer they've just bought a, a liquid version which I really want to try and then I'm now going to go in with the Collection Gorgeous Glow Filter Finish Complexion Boosting Primer and Illuminator. That's a mouthful. Now, I absolutely love the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I also love the e.l.f. Halo Glow. Um, I was going to buy another Halo Glow um, to keep here, but I have three at home already and I didn't want to, you know, buy another one in the same shade so i tried my mum's one of these and i really enjoyed it it is different and i do prefer the halo glow but it's it's still a beautiful product the only difference that i can really find between this and the charlotte tilbury and the halo glow is they have a little bit more coverage i find um this one is a lot thinner and like more liquidy in consistency um, and I don't think it's quite as metallic as the halo glow um, but like I say it still does exactly what I want it to which is to add a lovely glow under my makeup I wouldn't really be able to wear this as a like a coverage product which I can with the other two um, I just don't think this one has enough coverage to be um, like a, a standalone base product so I'm just rubbing it in with my hands and um, I found that's the best way to use this one I find if I do it with a sponge it just kind of soaks it up too much there you go you can see I mean I did have a glow to my skin anyway because of the oils and serums and moisturizer that I'd used um I used a moisturizer with um SPF in that was also got um illumination in it but you can see if I get really close up just sits lovely on the skin and like I say it adds a lovely glowy base for makeup now just on these blemishes that i have under my chin where i've had some ingrowing hairs i'm going to just use a little bit of a color corrector this is um a little wheel that my mom got me um we got um she bought one and they sent one free so um i've kept one here and i'm just going to put a little bit of this where I have some blueness under my eyes. I didn't sleep hardly at all last night. Um, I had a really bad night um, with pain and also I think because I knew that I'd got to go home today and I was a bit, <laughs> a bit sad about it. So I'm not blending it in properly because I'm obviously going to be blending um, foundation over the top of it. Now, the foundation that I'm going to be using, um, neither of these are new. They're ones that I've had in my collection for some time. I, Because I'm travelling today and I want my makeup to stick around for a long time, 
I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay uh, 24 hour full coverage foundation. Mine is in the shade number three, True Ivory. Um, and I'm going to add in a couple of drops of the NYX Bear With Me Luminous Tinted Skin Serum. So I'm gonna make a bit of a concoction of this and then blend that into my skin. Okay, and that's the foundation all blended onto my skin. And as you can see, you can still see a glow coming through from the um, filter finish. I just think my skin looks beautiful and it's all drugstore. So now what I'm going to do is before I do my concealer, I'm going to use a bit of cream bronzer. This is the Primark um, Bronze Whip. Um, I've had this, um, not this time I came here but the time before um, I did pick this up to leave here. This is supposed to be a dupe of the NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. Um, I much prefer the Laguna. I do like this but I do find that this product is, it's, a, it's not quite the right tone, it is a very warm bronzer and there was only the one shade of these um the way that i found that i like to apply it the best is actually put it on with my fingers first i find if i go straight in with the brush i just get way too much product and it, it tends to blend quite far as well um and i usually end up having to fix it with foundation so i'm just going to put a little bit of that on and see how we go with that amount and to blend it in i am using um my zoeva stippling brush i have a couple of these i have one here and one at home this is the 125 stippling brush and this is great for cream and liquid bronzer because I'm so fair and I have a pink undertone to my skin, when it comes to bronzers, I do much prefer a cooler toned or one that's more red toned. Whereas this one I find is very orange, almost has a yellow undertone to it. Um, it works um, and with my makeup, the rest of my makeup on top, it looks absolutely fine but if I had you know if it was a perfect world there would be other shades of this and I would definitely get a lighter more cooler toned one which is what I have in the NARS Laguna bronzer it's a much cooler toned bronzer so that looks absolutely fine as you can see i didn't use too much of it and a little bit do, does go a long way and now for concealer i'm going to use the elf halo glow concealer um a couple of things that i definitely want to add to this collection is another couple of concealers and um a color corrector like a liquid color corrector um those are things that i currently have in a basket on Makeup Revolution. I am probably going to do um, a Makeup Revolution haul um, fairly soon um, because there are things obviously that I, I do want to purchase for, for keeping here. Um, I know a lot of people have some negative feelings towards Makeup Revolution, so please let me know if that's something that you would be interested in seeing or if you're not a fan of Makeup Revolution and you don't, you know, you wouldn't be interested in watching that. Just let me know. Um, but the e.l.f. Halo Glow is um, a long time favourite of mine. I've gone through um, a few tubes of this. Um, I'm actually running low on this particular one 
um, but I could definitely do with one that's perhaps a little bit brighter and lighter. Uh, this one is pretty much spot on to my foundation shade. But that is my base mostly finished. But what I am going to do is just use a little bit of cream blush before I put any powder products on. And I have a product from Makeup Revolution that I have I absolutely love. I only picked it up in the one shade just to try it out, but I'm definitely going to pick up another couple of shades. So the product that I'm talking about is the Makeup Revolution Blush and Highlight Stick. I got mine in the shade Champagne Shine, which um, I was worried would be a little bit too dark for me. It's like the third, third one, second or third one deepest, um, but I loved the blush shade of this so this is the blush and then the highlight stick is like a pinky peach but it works absolutely fine for me i will use this today to show you but the blush is just beautiful and it works perfectly fine blending it straight on top of foundation um some of these i know work better if you sort of work off the back of your hand but i've had no issues with this at all well the one time that i have actually tried it and i'm just going to use a very old smaller stippling brush and this was from a black brand called contour cosmetics many many moons ago um but i just i love the tone of this blusher it's that beautiful blue toned fuchsia pink almost bordering on purple and i have i have gone a little bit heavier on the blush because obviously i'm going to be putting powders and things on top of it um but it just blends so nicely and as you can see the pigment is unbelievable um the ones that i think i'm going to pick up as well as this one are the shades Morph Glow, which is the lightest one. It has the lightest highlight, and it's like a, a dusky, cool-toned mauve blush, which I think will be beautiful for um, the cooler months. And another one called, I think it's called Coral Dream, which is like a bright coral orange blush, and then quite a deep gold highlight. The highlight may not work for me, um, but I can definitely use it as like a blush topper, um, which is what I quite like to do sometimes with cream and liquid blush and highlight. Is like put a stripe of one and then a stripe of the other and just mix them together so it makes like a glowy blush look. But I've just took that down ever so slightly with my sponge. But I just think that is such a beautiful, beautiful product. And it was like 4 99 which is insane value. And now just before I set my face with powder, I'm going to just spray a little bit of the Primark Prep and Protect Setting Spray. This is kind of like a dupe for MAC Fix Plus. And I do like using this sort of like as my in-between steps and then I like using especially as we're in summer and it's quite warm and muggy here um I like using a mattifying setting spray just to let help my makeup last that bit longer so I'm just going to spray it with this and then I'm going to take my sponge and I'm just going to help that absorb into my skin And I mean, at the moment, I just think my base looks incredible. I'm, I love it. And then for powder, I am just going to lightly set under my eyes and then a light dusting everywhere else of the I Heart Revolution Coconut Scented Baking Powder. This is the lightest one they do. They also do a peach one, which I'm thinking of picking up because it's more of like um. A, a flesh toned and then they also do a banana and I think I like a toffee banana which is the deepest one um this I've heard so many good things about it um I only used it very briefly just under my eyes um so I didn't really have much of an opinion on it but I'm going to use this today to set my whole face
Okay, and before I put another layer of setting spray, I'm just going to powder bronze with the MUA uh, Makeup Academy Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Solar 100. Um, I really struggled to find um, a powder bronzer in store that was light enough for me, but when I got this, I thought this might be too warm, but it's absolutely perfect. It's really beautiful, and it's such an easy soft powder to use you can't sort of go overboard with it um it's a lovely formula uh one of the many products from this little haul that i would absolutely recommend and repurchase um i did have a look on their website and they do do a cooler toned one that i could use as a contour which I am interested in picking up. But as you can see, that's just a really lovely tone of bronzer for me. So now I'm gonna give my face another spray with the Primark setting spray and we can move on to eyes. Okay, so I've just done a couple of things whilst I've been off camera. I um, put some more setting spray on. I primed my eyes with the e.l.f. No Budge Matte Shadow Stick in the shade Thrift Shop. Um, one of the things I am lacking here is eye primer. So I have been using these e.l.f. shadow sticks, um, but they're not quite cutting it. I do need a proper eye primer. Um, and then I just did my brows. And um, this wasn't one that I picked up. This was one my mum picked up, but she just gave it to me before um, I started filming. This is the Makeup Academy Brow Defying Eyebrow Pencil with Blending Brush. And this one is in the shade Mid Brown. Um, I really like it. It was nice, soft, waxy pencil. Um, the brush is one of those um, like Fenty did. Um, took a little bit of a learning curve with this because I did find it a little bit messy if I used it near the tail of my brows and then to set them in place I'm scraping out the last of my Essence Make Me Brow in the shade um, I think it's brownie brows yeah brownie brows so that's what I've done whilst I've been off camera and now let's move on to eyeshadow and for today's eyes um, I was having a debate with myself between the Makeup Academy um, Illusionist palette. This was six pound, an absolute bargain, and it's absolutely stunning. The shimmers are really, really beautiful. Um, I did use this the other day, and um, it didn't wear very well on me. The um, matte had completely disappeared by the end of the day and the shimmers creased on me hence why i say um i want um, a proper eye primer um so i was going to use this again today to give it another go um but my mum also gave me the revolution um this is the cannabis sativa palette chilled um and these are these beautiful greeny tones and i'm wearing like khaki culottes today so um i really know the forever flawless palettes i've i've come to really appreciate the forever flawless palettes and know how they perform um but i'm still a bit unsure with the um mua palette so i think i am going to use this one today and that's not how I envisioned that going, but there you go. So, um, because I am going to be wearing like a khaki um, trousers, um, I'm going to stick with sort of the more browny tones and then perhaps use um, like this pinky purpley one on my lid. I think that could work. So, the first shade that I'm going to use is this pinky one here these obviously they don't have names um, and i'm just taking that on a big fluffy brush and i'm going to work that into my crease
I mean, the mattes are really beautiful and pigmented and they blend really, really lovely. It was just the fact that by the end of the day, it had completely disappeared. So I'm kind of wanting just to see how it holds, holds up today for me. Okay, and then just to add a little bit of depth, um, I'm going to take this richer cool tone brown here and just add that to the outer um, half of my lid and probably take that underneath my eye as well. And that shade did add quite a lot of nice depth to the outer corner. I'm just going to take it on a smaller brush underneath my eyes. Okay, and I do really like those two matte shades that I've used together. Um, I moved the light because I thought it was glaring a little bit, but I'm not sure. <laughs> um, now for the metallic, I am just going to use this purpley mauve here. And I'm literally just going to put that on my finger and just put that all over my lid. And the, the metallics in this palette are absolutely stunning. Some of them are more um, impactful than others. There's like, um, these ones are like a thicker, more creamy formula. And then there's these ones, like the one I'm using at the moment, that's much smoother. And that's the uh, shade on my finger there. Um, these colours make my eyes look really, really green. Um, so I'm just going to go over slightly with my blending brush just to get rid of any harsh lines. And then in that palette, there isn't really um, a, a shade that I want to use on my inner corner. So I'm going to take one of my um, little e.l.f. bite size palettes. Um, and yes, I'm going to take the um, cream and sugar palette from e.l.f. And I'm going to use the like champagne colour on my inner corner. And I don't often do um, a metallic on my um, brow bone, but I am going to just put a little bit of that under the brow. Okay, so that is um, the eyes with the shadow completed. Now what I'm going to do is just use a little bit of liner to tie in with the colours that I'm actually going to be wearing today. I'm going to use, um, noisy, um, my Essence Long Lasting Pencil Liner in the shade. I have a green and then I'm also going to use the Essence Lash Princess in the Curl and Volume. I'm just going to curl my lashes, put the liner in my upper and lower waterline and put some mascara on. Okay, and that's my eyes all finished with mascara and liner. I absolutely love the way they've turned out. I just really, really hope that it doesn't fade or crease on me. So now I'm just going to do my highlight and some powder blush. Um, I've decided not to use the cream highlight in the blush and highlight stick um, because I have used that. 
um, and I haven't tried these Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. This is the shade Just My Type, which is a beautiful light champagne gold, if I can get it open. Uh, that's sheep, by the way, that you can hear. Um, so I'm going to use a little of that and I'm just using a Colourpop highlight brush. Oh, that's lovely. I'd heard a lot of good things about these highlighters um i picked up two and the one that i really wanted um there well, was two more that i want there's a pink toned one um and um like a, a shimmery bronzer one and they're like they're only four pound which is just unbelievable from the same collection and also four pound i also picked up a couple of the powder blushes this one is in the shade Rose Kiss and it's just a gorgeous like typical blushed sort of rosy tone. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of that and I'm just going to use this Primark brush. These are quite pigmented. There we go. And then to help all that sort of last as long as possible, I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Mattifying Setting Spray. Now, I'm a dry skin girl. Um, I'm not usually one for mattifying anything, um, but this weather has been making my um, makeup slide off a lot quicker. So I did really want to pick up especially here when I'm out in the sun a lot more than when I'm at home, something that would help my makeup last longer. So I'm going to spritz my skin with this. And that is a lovely fine mist. And then lastly for lips, I'm going to use a combination of um, my Melt All Day Every Day Lip Liner in the shade Headbang. These are the old Melt lip liners and I had four of them at home so I bought them here. I don't have like them. Um, a drugstore or affordable lip liner yet um, and I'm also going to use um, the L'Oreal Colourish in the shade 646 Eva. And that's me done. So I'm just going to pop off camera now and run the straightness through my hair, get changed, just finish off the last few bits and then I'll come back to show you the final look. And that's me all finished, dressed, hair done, packed and ready to go home. So I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. I absolutely love how the look turned out. Um, I feel as though the mats have faded already, but I could be um, imagining things. Um, but I still love my makeup. My base is chef's kiss, and I love the L'Oreal Colourish lipsticks. So yeah, that's me done. Um, now off on my travels home, and hopefully we'll be filming the next part of my makeup collection series which will be blushes, highlighters, bronzers. Uh, that's going to be a long one but thanks so much for uh, watching and sticking with me through this and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks guys, bye!